Hi, everybody. Welcome to Grandma Lee's house. Today, let's spend some time pretending, creating, and making up a fun story. Today, I have with me my special little big Lego friends is what I call them, Duplos, but I call them big Legos. And today, I wanna to share with you my friend Ariel, the Little Mermaid, and I have her best friend, Flounder. He looks kind of like an angelfish. And these are from the story, The Little Mermaid. So, Ariel, can you say hi? Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here today at Grandma Lee's house. And then we have Flounder. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. I want to create something really cool for these two best friends. In fact, they're going to be celebrating something very special about their friendship in my pretend story today. So um, let's get to building. The first thing that I want to build is a special doorway for Ariel's house. It's really special because look, it twirls around like a merry-go-round. So this is what it looks like. And let me show you now how we build it. So you start out with this piece right here for the bottom of the door. Then you find this piece. It's square with a little rotating circle on top and it fits right on top of here. Then we take these two blue pieces right here. They're kind of skinny and we put them right on top of this rotating circle. Like this. You see that? Then we find this piece that looks like seaweed and little bubbles and maybe a little starfish and we set that on top of here. See how it looks like a little doorway now. Then we find these two pieces. This piece goes in the front. You can see this right here. It's going to go on the front and this piece right here is going to go in the back. So this piece goes on first and it leaves a little room for this piece to go right here in the front. There's this little piece that looks kind of like a little boat and that's what I'm setting on top. And then the very tip top is this little piece right here that kind of looks like a slide. So you can, it doesn't matter which direction you put it, but that's, you can do it like that. You can turn, see? How it looks like that. There's our door. Almost looks like a castle up here. Isn't that pretty? All right. Oh, I forgot. I've got two more pieces left. And then I've got these two little pieces here. They kind of curve up on one side. And I've put those on, yeah, on the front. Just to, just for decoration. Just because I thought that looked nice. So there is Ariel's very, very fancy door to her house. So see, when Ariel wants to come to her house, she can come in here like this and twist it around. And then she can step out into the inside of her house. Isn't that cool? All right, so very special door for Ariel. The next piece that I want to build is some furniture for inside Ariel's house. This is like a little shelf that holds her clock and her little music player. Um, it looks to me like an old CD kind of player. It plays music. Maybe there's a radio on it. And then this is just a little decorative stand for her clock. So let me show you how I made it. The bottom is a piece like this. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little holes on it. That's the bottom. On top of that, we have a yellow piece. That is a square. And now we've got room to add a blue piece. That's a square. See, those only have four. One, two, three, four little circles on them. Then on this side is the special little stand I have for Ariel's clock. And here's the clock to go right on top. And now this is a little shelf to hold her special music player. See, there's some furniture for inside her house. 
Next, I wanted to make a really special comfy chair for Ariel to sit in. You see how that kind of looks like a chair? All right, and I wanted a little table beside her chair. Maybe she can set down her glass of water that she's drinking or something that she wants to eat. And see, she'll be able to sit right on her chair like that. Let me show you how I made it. We start out with one of the square four little circle blocks. Then we take another square and we set it on the back too, like that. See, it looks a little bit like a stair step. We then take this one right here, and this one has a little bit of a curve to it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's gonna be part of the chair too, all right? And then we have the back of the chair, which is this piece right here. All right, do you see that? That's kind of like the little stand for the chair, and now she has a place to sit. And we can let Ariel sit in her little chair right now. Let me move her little hands up. Sometimes her hands get in the way, and you have to, to move them up a little bit. All right, so she's got a little chair to sit in, and this is just a little side table. You don't have to build it. You just put it right there beside her, and now she can put her little cup on there she wants to drink something. And if we want a place for Flounder to sit, we can just choose a block like this and make a simple little chair for him to sit in. There you go, and he's sitting right by his friend. And you don't really have to build it, you just use one of your blocks for a chair. And the last thing that's part of Ariel's living room, she has something that we all have to have in our houses, and that's a little potty chair. This is a little ducky potty chair. My granddaughters have a ducky potty chair at my house, and so I wanted to make a ducky potty house for Ariel's house. All right, so here it is, and let me show you how we make it. It's super easy. You start out with two pieces like this, and you just stack them. All right, that's simple, isn't it? Then you take this little piece right here, all right, and it backs up, all right, see what I did there? Okay, have to leave room for a little potty seat right there. So that's part of the toilet, and here's the tank of the toilet, and that sets right on the back, like that, and there we go. There we have our special little Ndecky toilet, because everybody has to go to the bathroom, right? So that's a lot of pieces already, isn't it? But guess what? I have some more special pieces. So I'm gonna move these out of the way and show you just a few more pieces and then we're gonna get started playing and having fun with us, our special story today. So in the story today, Ariel's gonna need a kitchen. And so I'm pretending that these are stoves and ovens in her kitchen. Doesn't that kind of look like a stove right there that you might put something on to cook? All right, so let me show you how I did that. Now to make this stove, I have to use three pieces. So I had this one that has four, and this one that has one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another four one. And I'm just putting them beside each other. They're not stuck together yet. I'm gonna use some other Legos for that, but they're just right beside each other. Now I'm gonna take two more of these with the four circles on them. And look, I'm going to use them to connect those two. See that little line in the middle? I can use this one to connect it, and now they will stay stuck together. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna use this one, see where that line is, where they need to connect? I put that one right there, and looky there. Now, they're all connected. If I'm careful, now I do have to be careful, but now they'll all stay connected. Then, to create the stove and the ovens, I took two more of the little squares, so one on this side, another one on this side, okay, see that? I found two skinny pieces, and I put these kind of near the back, do you see what I'm doing? And there's another one on this side, and look, that's where they have the four different little burners on the stove, and we can pretend that these are little ovens that they can cook in. So that's my little kitchen for Ariel to use.
to cook in. I wanted Ariel and Flounder to have a little table near her kitchen. So here's my little table. And the way I made it was I just took a little block, again, one of the four circle ones, and I took this round circle. Actually, this has like a little xylophone on it. I think Ariel likes to play that. But we're going to pretend it's a kitchen table. So I'm going to put it just like that. And see, now we have a little table. And usually when you have a kitchen table, you usually have chairs around it, right? So that you can sit at the table. And for that, I'm going to use some special blocks. Let me show you. I have another little block I can sit around and another one. And there's going to be something a little bit surprising about those two little chairs in just a little bit. I'll show you. Hold on. Also in my story today, there's going to be a time where I need a special little wheelchair. You know, wheelchairs are used by people who are having problems walking for some reason. Maybe um, their legs just aren't working or maybe they have had some surgery on one of their legs or maybe they broke a bone in their leg. I know that happened to me. And sometimes someone has to be in a wheelchair. So in our story today, someone's going to need a wheelchair. And I don't want to tell you who it is quite yet, but I will tell you they don't quite fit in this wheelchair. So I'm going to use this little yellow block right here and I'm going to put it to create a little seat in the wheelchair. I've got to fit it down in there. There we go. All right. And now one of my special friends can ride right up there in the wheelchair. So that's how I'm going to use my wheelchair today. And I've got one more special thing to show you. In our story today, we need a special cake. Look at this cake. Look how tall it is. It even has a candle on top. Yeah. So let me show you how I built this cake. The bottom piece looks like this. All right. Can you see it? And that is the bottom of the cake. Then I have this little shape that looks like a flower piece. See how that looks like a flower? And that sets right on top. You have to kind of twist it around till it finds a way to sit. And it, it kind of turns a little bit. Not as easily as Ariel's door does though. And then I have these are the layers of the cake. So I wanted this one on top because it has a number one and that's going to mean something special in a minute. But here I'm going to put my square dark yellow piece. It's kind of a golden yellow. Then I have a white piece. So we have a yellow cake, a white cake, and here we have a layer of blue cake. Maybe blueberry? I don't know. Sometimes I've seen blue be kind of a cotton candy flavor too. And then what are we going to put on top? We're going to put that candle. And so that candle sticks right in the middle. Can okay, you see that? Instead of, you can put it on one of the circles if you want, but I liked it to be right in the middle of my layer of blueberry cake. All right, so there's our special cake. Are you ready to pretend now? All right, so let's have a fun story. You know, a lot of stories start out once upon a time. So once upon a time, there was a little mermaid named Ariel. And oh, she wanted to celebrate her special friend Flounder, her favorite fish friend. So Ariel went to her kitchen and she started gathering up flour and sugar and eggs and she started mixing and baking and she began to create something very special in her kitchen. So she's really busy. Oh, I've got to hurry before my friend Flounder gets here. I'm going to celebrate him in a special way. He doesn't even know we're going to celebrate today because it's not his birthday. That's not why I'm making a cake. But shh, don't tell him yet. All right, let me look at my clock. He 
you see what time it is. Wow, it's almost five o'clock, and that's what time I told Flounder to come over. I better hurry and get everything finished. Oh, I'm going to do something really special with these little seats right here. So I've got to make sure they're right up at the table. Now let's see. Let me make sure everything looks clean. Let me come around here. Oh, I think I better go to the bathroom really quick before he gets over here. It's kind of private. It's behind the kitchen. See? There's her little ducky potty. All right. So, I'll set her down and let her use the toilet in private. All right, I think she's about finished. All right, oh, 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 I need to go wash my hands. Hold on. I'll do it right here at the sink. All right, good, now I'm all ready. Okay, I think I'm gonna come over here and sit in my chair and wait, okay? Feel? All right, and I'm so thirsty, I wanna get myself a little drink. So she reaches over here and gets something to drink. Oh, all right, okay. Ding dong. Did you hear that doorbell? That means somebody's at the door. Who's at the door? Oh, ooh, I think I see somebody there. Oh, I hear somebody at the door. Let me go to the door and I'll press my special button so it will turn around. <laughs> hey, Flounder, you're here. Yeah, Ariel, I'm here. It's so good to see you. Let me give you a hug. Oh, Flounder, you're my best friend. And you're my best friend too, Ariel. Hey, would you like to come sit down right over here on my chair? Sure. Yeah, just make yourself really comfortable. I have something really special I wanna show you, okay? Okay, I can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, I wanna surprise you. You know, um, before I get it, I wanted to remind you that we have been good friends for a long time. Do you know how long? Um, let's see. Uh, we've been friends longer than a day, and we've been friends longer than a week, or even a month. I would say we've been friends several months. You're right. We have been friends for one whole year. One whole year? That's a lot of months. That's like, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. And that's how long we've been friends for one whole year. So guess what I made you? You wanna see what it is? I sure would. I can't wait to see what you got me. Let me go see it right now. Up. Oh no, Flounder. Did you fall off? Oh no. Let me go swim down and pick you up. Oh, Flounder, are you hurt? Yeah. My, my tail hurts. I, I think I cut my tail. I think I may have sprained it. And look, I can't sit upright. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Surely there's something I can do to help you. Just one second. Okay, I went back to the bathroom where I keep my band-aids. Here, I'm gonna put a band-aid on your little tail. Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt it. Oh, all right, and, and here's some medicine. All right, maybe that'll help you feel better. Yeah, I think that's going to help, but I still can't, I can't move. My, my fin can't move. I'm kind of stuck. Well, you know what? Do you think maybe if I put you in a wheelchair, then I can push you around until your fin gets better. 
Would that be okay? Yeah, I think that would be really good. All right, let me go get my wheelchair. Just a minute. Here's my wheelchair for you. Let me put you in it. Yeah. There we go, Flounder. Now, you can borrow my wheelchair and I'll take care of you until you get all better, okay? Can you see him? All right. Yeah, I'm going to take care of Flounder and help Flounder get all better. Thank you, Ariel. You really are the very best friend. Oh, Flounder. So, let me push you over here. And this, so that you can be comfortable. And then, now, I have my surprise for you. And this time, you won't fall. Because I'm going to bring it to you, okay? Okay, I'll be right here waiting. Uh, it's kind of heavy. I'm going to try to get it. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ta-da! I made a cake for you. A cake? It, but it's not my birthday. N no, it's not. But you know what? See that number one right there? You remember what I just said? We've been a we've been friends for one whole year and I wanted to celebrate our friendship by making you a special cake. Wow, that's awesome. And you know what? I know you're in the wheelchair, but I can help you blow it out. Would that be okay? Sure. All right, but first I want to sing a friendship song. A friendship song? Yeah, how about, it's like happy birthday, but we'll sing happy friendship to us. Happy friendship to us. Happy friendship to us. Happy friendship, Ariel and Flounder. Happy friendship to us. Oh, I love that we're friends. And then they cut their special cake and they got to have some of their cake. So we take the candle off and we take the first layer off and they can cut it oops, and put some on their table to eat. But that wasn't all the surprises. Ariel had one more. Hey, Flounder, because we've been such good friends and we're celebrating with cake, I also wanted to give you a special <gasps> present. And there's another present. Hey, I didn't know those were presents. I thought they were just chairs. I know, that's why they're a surprise. So open up your presents. Wow, some new fish food. I love this kind of fish food. It's my favorite flavor, seaweed and shrimp. Wow, thank you so much, Ariel. And here's one more. All right, let me open it up. Ah. It's a special little plant for me to plant right where I live. And I love having all kinds of fresh plants around where I can swim and make my little home so beautiful. Thank you for that little plant, Ariel. You're so welcome. Well, I'm so thankful you're my friend. And you know what? I hope we'll have many more years of friendship together. Yeah, we'll have to do this again when we've been friends for two years, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, ten years. That'll be fun. All right. Hey, there's so much cake. Maybe we should invite some of our other friends over. I think that's a good idea. All right. 
Well, I'm gonna go swim away for just a minute. You stay here and I'll go find some more friends. And so you know what? Ariel decides to go and swim ooh, to her out to the ocean to find some more of the friends to play with. And you know what? If you build something like this, you can find other friends for them to play with. There's all kinds of friends. You know, sometimes Ariel likes to play with Elsa and Anna from Frozen, or maybe from the Paw Patrol characters, Daniel Tiger, or just any friends you want. But those are some of her favorite for sure. Well, I'm gonna put little Ariel back in there, and when she gets all of her friends to come over, she can come back in her house and they can have more adventures together. Well, I'm going to stop right there because now it's time for you to think about how you would want to pretend and what kind of story you would like to have with your special friends. And hopefully you have some big Legos or some blocks or some magnet tiles, something that you can build with and pretend to. I love pretending, don't you? It's one of my favorites. Well, have fun. I'm so glad that you were here to share in my special time at Grandma Lee's house. I want to give you a great big O hug. And I also want to say I love you. That's how we say it with our hands. All right. You have a great rest of your day. Mwah. Bye.